Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am 23 weeks pregnant and I don't want to do baby girl is the size of a I do. <laughs> well, it's actually a great grapefruit. Uh oh, uh -uh. go get it. Okay. I got it. I got it. And she is I one pound and four ounces. I went to my monthly um, baby appointment this week and um, we got an ultrasound because they were trying to see her face. Um, and the doctor said that she is one pound and four ounces. So she's getting bigger and bigger. It's so exciting. Her ears can now pick up some sounds in the outside world. So I guess she hears her big brother and her daddy talking a lot more. The blood vessels in her lungs are starting to develop um, to prepare her for breathing. Uh, how I'm feeling. Um, I have to say that I am a little bit on the stress side. Um, there's just so much to do and there's, I feel like there's not enough time to do it all. Um, I've been busy since I'm a new consultant for, or us born books. I've been get, getting that, um, my launch party up and rolling and I'm also just, I'm doing Vlogtober. Well, I'm trying to do Vlogtober. Not many of my <laughs> vlogs have been very, um, Halloween-ish. But um, I'm trying to get there. I just I've had a lot to do, so I've just been editing some old videos that never got posted. But I do plan on doing some more Halloweenish vlogs coming up. So I've been busy doing that, and also I'm stressed because I still want to clean. I still there's so much I want to do. Like my I want to clean my house. I want to get um, the baby girl's room ready. I guess I'm just nesting, wanting to nest a whole lot, but at the same time, I just want to get like daily stuff clean. So yeah, I'm um, kind of stressed about that too. I went, I went to my um, appointment today. My doctor was like, oh, "How are you doing?" And I just, I told her that I was pretty stressed, and so we actually had a long talk about it. And those things I can do, um, I definitely need to start taking care of myself better so I want to take care of James which is you know important it's definitely important he's my son and I just got so much going on and um, she told me I just need to do some yoga which I need to do anyway so I just need to let go <laughs> let go and let God right the other day my mom and I were talking on the phone and I think we're FaceTiming with James and she noticed how stressed I was and then it's, while I was on the phone with her, James came in to our entryway and started writing on the walls and the doors and so <laughs> um, my mom was nice enough because she knew I had to make dinner that night. She uh, got me some Grubhub so thank you so much mom for that because that, that really helped. Some things I've noticed this past week and well, actually a couple weeks is that I do get um, out of breath a lot easier now talking I can lose my breath um, a lot faster or faster that way and when I'm walking around um, I get tired faster that way too um, last week when I had my, my mom had the luncheon for us I was walking around the antique store and I could I could tell that I was really starting to like ugh huff and puff well no, not huff and puff but I was definitely losing my breath a lot faster than I usually would and also we ran we were doing some errands this past weekend David and I were and we went to a few different places and I noticed how tired I got a lot quicker and I've also noticed just like brushing well maybe not brushing my teeth but just putting my makeup on <clears throat> in the morning uh, I noticed that my when I'm on my feet a lot more maybe even cooking like dinner my feet get swollen not a whole lot but i'm starting to notice that starting to happen my feet got all really uh swollen with james so i know that's probably on the way um something that i have you probably saw with james have it a second ago um is the i'm doing my gestational diabetes test 
in four weeks. Um, I'm not really wor that worried about it because a lot of people are like, ooh, this drink is tastes really bad. I don't remember if I had the orange one or the clear one, but when I was with James, I didn't really, I didn't, I wasn't like, oh, this tastes horrible. I mean, it was, it was fun and I didn't have that bees with James, so I'm hoping and praying that um, I will not have it gestational diabetes this time around either. So, so that's what's coming up in the next four weeks at my next appointment. And I also have to have another ultrasound because the girl didn't want to look at the camera. But um, I'm actually doing a vlog about all that. It should be up on my next post to hopefully tomorrow I'll have it up. A low this week would be, it's kind of embarrassing to say it, but I've said it before, is tinkling in my pants or my panties again. Um, it doesn't happen every single time, but it seems like the times that I sneeze, it happens. And I don't know why I didn't do this with James, so I'm not really sure why this is happening this time around. But it's just a pregnancy thing. It better be just a pregnancy thing once she's here. I better not do this anymore. Another low I had this week was when I went to the my doctor's appointment today. She said that I gained four pounds, which I mean isn't horrible, but it isn't great because I only want to um, gain like I don't want to gain like more than like five more pounds. And which I I told her before. So well, you told me that I was doing good in my appointments with my weight. And she said, well, last time you only gained two pounds in four weeks, and this time you gained four. So something's going on, like either you're not eating as well, or you're not getting as much activity. And I'm guessing it's the activity part. It might have something to do with what I'm eating, but for the most part, I'm eating about the same, and I'm eating pretty healthy. I mean, there's a few times in there that I did not eat healthy. Sorry, James is in there. Beating a spoon against... One of David's workout things. Sorry if you hear some dinging. Um, also, I just need to start having more activity, I guess, so I can lose weight or at least not gain any more um, or very little. Uh, so I need to start walking and again just doing yoga like she's been wanting me to do. Best moment this week was that David actually got to feel baby girl move. Um, it wasn't a whole bunch of movement he didn't get to feel, like he barely felt it at all. Do you want to come here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he did get to feel some. And, say hi. Hi. He did get to feel it. I mean, I think now, like, this is, that was like a week ago. Um, and I think he would be able to feel even more now because I'm feeling it with my hands a lot more. So I need to get him to... Ooh, careful, James. I need to get him to um, oh. start. Yeah. Um, well, get to have try it again dog. so he can da, feel it again. Da, 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 da. 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 I think he's a wild animal. I'm not sure. Another um, hi this <laughs> Another had this week was <laughs> seeing baby girl today. Baby <laughs> girl day. Um, in the ultrasound, I always love seeing her. And uh, David has his computer right here, so he's hitting the keys there. But that, and this one has been a little crazy this week. Yeah, crazy that this week. I don't know. Again, I don't know if it's just his, yeah. him being two. And being two. Terrible twos. <laughs> but he's not listening. And he's yeah. telling mommy and daddy no. He's climbing on like everything. Daddy. Again, I don't know if it's his terrible twos or if he's just acting out because the baby's coming. I don't know. But he's, he's acting. Yeah. He's How are you acting, James? Wild. Wild. Yes, I don't see and like drawing on the walls. We're drawing on the walls. Hopefully, it's just, it's just a phase and it's gonna be over very I soon. Want, um, and he's been waking um, up every other night too. I know. I'm drawing. I 
waking up really early and I have to get up and what's another thing that stresses me out not that he wakes up because that's fine I know I yes you did draw on that wall didn't you that do we draw on walls no um I mean as a mother you know I want to be there and comfort him when he wakes up scared in the middle of the night but at the same time it's like it if he goes right back to sleep real quickly, then it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't mess me up for the next day. But if he takes him like several hours go down to sleep, and then it just messes me up for the rest of the day so I don't get down. I, I write a schedule about everything I want to do for the day. And if, I, that, if I'm not able to do all that because I had to, I'm tired or I, don't, I had to sleep in because I've been up all night with him, that's something else that stresses me out, so I'm trying to relax and not let it bother me anymore. Yes, you drew right there too. He's pointing out all the different places he drew on the other day. Mm -hmm. My wedding ring is still on and my belly button's still in. What I miss? I miss not having chaos. Um... I just, oh no, I just feel like my life right now is just chaotic and I'm trying to get it back to James. I, he ran off with my, my uh, bottle of my orange drink that I had to drink and it was like the third time he's done it. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get my, I, I'm ready for my life to be less chaotic again, which is probably not going to be because I'm adding another little one to the <laughs> group but um to our family but at least maybe I need to figure out and I guess I just need to t do time management which I need to figure that out probably and just I don't know I need if you got any tips on what you can do or what I can do, that'd be great. You can leave that down in the comment section. I think David and I just need to go on vacation. Um, we need to have a baby moon. <laughs> that'd be wonderful. But I don't know if that's going to happen. But I think for our relationship, I mean, we don't have a bad relationship. We just, we need to have time to just be the two of us. And just like, I don't want to say reconnect. But, you know, just like talk and not have all the other stresses and little two-year-olds around us all the time. We just need some alone time. What I look forward I to. Now. You want to come here now? I think you should go find my drink. And the orange juice. My doctor won't be happy if I don't have my drink. I have to drink before I go to the doctor next time. Oh, no. um, Yeah. You want to go find it and bring it back to mommy and the grapefruit. Thank you. I was going to say um, I was looking forward to um, seeing Baby Girl in the ultrasound, but I actually already did that because I was going to make this video earlier in the week. I just hadn't had time. So, but I guess another thing is just looking forward to is de stressing some and just get everything figured out and calmed down. So, okay, so if you like this video or you know how I'm feeling <laughs> give it a thumbs up and get, can you bring that back to my please thank you and if you okay you want to come back here if you want to see more videos like this then hit that notification bell go and also subscribe that's, right. that's a big one so yes thank you and we will be boom, seeing boom. you next week with more she updates say, boom. Hey, boom, mommy, thank say you for boom. watching bye, bye. bye.